So if Blaziken wasn't Super Smash Bros, what would his moveset be? Well, obviously assuming that it's a him and he's tall and he has the same height as Captain Falcon nearly, his moves would obviously include kicks with fire, just like Captain Falcon. His A moves would probably resemble the same fighting style that Fox and Falco use, probably with a lot more kicks seeing that he loves to kick things. His body kind of resembles a gi and he kind of has baggy pants, so that makes him look more like a martial arts chicken. Mmm, martial arts flaming chicken. I always imagine him moving like Inuyasha. Speaking of fire, fire is going to be his main attack, his B move, and it's going to be fire blast. It's going to blast like Charizard's did in freaking Brawl when he got his final smash with all the rest of the other Pokemons. It's a rook shot move, and by rook, I mean it can only shoot in one direction. That move can extend all the way until it connects with the next person it hits, making that big man-sized explosion from a little fireball. When you start the match by burning your foe, then after that you follow up with the blaze kick, and that's be right. And he's gonna do like a big twirl of fire, kind of resembling a flaming windmill of kicks. And it hit a lot like Rob's little spin move. Yeah, it's a terrible be right move for Rob, but for Blaziken it allowed him to float for a moment, and he can get back to the ledge with it. Cause you're gonna definitely be floating around with Blaziken because he's gonna be very nimble, but at the same time he's gonna be able to jump at least 30 feet because that's what the Pokédex says. With all of his air combos being initiated by his A moves going in different directions, and he'd be using his B to peck somebody, then make a great down A move or a spike. But why knock down the opponent when you can knock him up and then you use the sky uppercut, his up B move. It'll function a lot like the end of the Knuckle Joe combo when you get his little trophy, except Blaziken's wouldn't have the same amount of power. But it'd be dope if you could actually charge it up before he uses it. Or it should just be a quick high little uppercut because yeah, you're gonna definitely need that while you're fighting in the air. I just want it to be powerful because I don't want Blaziken just to be a fragile speedster. I just want him to be a glacier. Glass cannon. I don't know why I'm talking about ice when Blaziken's overheat ability that he could omit with his down B move, it will resemble Star Fox taunt whenever he charges up his fire and it will be just standstill so you would have to time it right. Or the best time to actually use that move is when you get his final smash and that is definitely gonna be his mega evolution. He should be able to dash around the field going at high speeds leaving behind little embers behind just so your opponents can get burnt by them and then all of his attacks will have more freaking fire added to him and they'll be more explosive especially when you use his overheat ability and it will be all too glorious when you use a giant flaming chicken to take a pose while you're exploding all your opponents around you with your down B ability. That is when you're not roasting up your opponents with all your other B moves. Those are just my movesets. What are your movesets? Leave in the comments some of your fantasy characters to add in Super Smash Bros. And maybe I'll give you my answer to all those characters. Because hey, I like to interact with my fans any type of way. And you guys really seem to like it when I do these videos. And don't forget to add in an entrance for your character because it's really cool when they have different ones. But obviously Blaziken would just have a Pokeball so I don't think that deserves any mentioning. Also taunts are very cool as well because he should definitely have his cry whenever he does a taunt. And I don't have a cry that I do when I have a taunt. I just end the video.